Hey guys, Cloud here, and today we are doing episode one of How to Code Guns in Minecraft. If you are interested in uh, learning how to code all the complexities involved with guns, go ahead and follow this tutorial. You can subscribe. I, there should be a playlist uh, somewhere on my channel with all the videos of it. But anyways, we have to get started somewhere, right? So the first place to get started is input, and more specifically the left, the right click input or the input that we're going to use for firing or pulling the trigger. And in that case, the most common methods are two. You have a using item advancement and a carrot or warped fungus on a stick. Now there's advantages to either or. So carrot and warped fungus on a stick are the most natural right click detection. You just right click and a scoreboard will update. You can do that if you do scoreboard objectives add cos the name doesn't matter. Uh, Minecraft.used Minecraft.carrot on a stick. And if I set this on the sidebar, you will see that when I right click it, it counts up, which is great. But one thing that you'll notice with uh, most high rate of fire weapons is that this coast scoreboard is not counting up in ticks. You'll see that it's counting up maybe uh, four times per second or so. Uh, you can see if I hold it here for about three seconds, it will, let, let's start here. Uh, let's start at 70, 1001, 1002, 1003. So after holding it for three seconds, it increased by roughly 24. So uh, yeah, it's increasing, wait, no, 14. So it's increasing around four or five times per second, which is not ideal given the game runs at 20 ticks per second. So for that reason, a eye of ender is actually a typical uh, use case for this. The problem is how do we detect the clicking? Well, you do that with an advancement that detects when you're using an item and the item you will be using is the eye of ender. There's a couple other items that you can detect when people are using them. For example, a bow, a crossbow, a shield, all items will slow you down when you do end up using it. So that is the disadvantage. So we have 20 tick rate, disadvantage, uh, eyes, you have to make sure there's no ender portals in your world so that your eye of ender won't launch. Now, there is some fixes with that in the sense that you can like kill the eye of ender. There's a couple other little tricks you can do to fix that. Um, but for most creations, you are able to limit your situation to there is no uh, end portal. But if you're one of those people that is doing this for survival for some reason and you can't control that, then you can still use the carrot on a stick. Just your input method will be different from our project, but a lot of things will still translate. Anyways, so what we're going to do is first I'm going to copy my starter data pack and then I'm going to paste it into here. I'll have a link in the description to my video which or to my GitHub which has the starter pack. Let's rename it guns. Okay, and guns demo is just what I've been using to uh, beta test some ideas for this. So I'm going to rename the namespace to gun and then I'm going to go into the Minecraft folder. I don't need any of this stuff. I just need this two things which basically define functions which will run when every tick and when you load it so let's change the namespace here okay go ahead and close that uh, then we're going to go into the namespace and we're going to go delete the tag we'll come back to that later we might use them let's go into advancements it'll have a json file already um, but you can download a json file from the website but i will delete this one and now we're going to create our input to our game so we're going to go to a website that is miso.github.io and it has generators and i'll be using this many times throughout the series so advancements, this will let you create a custom advancement. And there's a custom advancement for using an item. And this will trigger when the item is used. The condition would be that the item is some item and that item is an ender eye. And that's basically what the, the purpose of me clicking those things correlate to. We can also have a custom tag uh, under MBT if you want to specify it. So we can go gun 1B for the MBT so that other ender eyes do not trigger this advancement. And then of course, if you are in survival, you can kill any ender eye that has the gun 1B tag and make sure that people always have two. It's really tricky when you're in survival to get this working properly. There's some people out there that have created some pretty cool ideas for fixing it. But we're not gonna cover that in this series because that's too complicated. Anyway, so you can click download, you'll get the advancement. Just rename this to right click 
Uh, and one thing I forgot is you need to have a function that plays when it's done. So we're going to go gun and then we're going to go input slash write underscore click. So the function will be in a folder called inputs and we're going to enter this and just replace that. There we go. So now we have our right click advancement. So if I go functions and then I create a folder called input and then I copy one of my previous functions in here and rename it right underscore click. We're going to go in here and say click. Okay. And the reason we're going with right click instead of left click, obviously for a shooter, you want to use left click. Uh, because it's something familiar, but left click detection in this game is very slow, very inaccurate and very complicated to make multiplayer friendly. And we want to avoid left click detection at all costs. It's the least efficient player input detection method. We might have to use it in the future when we start adding more complexity to our weapons, but we want to avoid it if possible. Anyway, so we're going to hit slash reload. I'm also going to do data pack disable for my demo and this other data pack I was working with. Uh, so now we just have the data pack. Uh, so I will hit right click uh, and it will not do anything. This is a normal eye of ender. But if I give myself one that has an ender eye with gun 1B, then it will say click. But when I click it again, it will not say click again. So what we need to do is remove the advancement. So then in the next tick, we can get the advancement again. So to do that, you do advancement, revoke, at S only, and then gun, right click. So copy that paste it. it. If it says that it revoked the advancement, then you did it right. And we will put that in the very beginning of this advancement. So essentially what's happening is it's constantly seeing, did you click it? If you do click it, it will play this function. And when it plays this function, it will take away the advancement so it can look again. So if I hit reload, then when I hold it, it will spam it way faster than that coast was counting up. And that's because we are, this is fully using the 20 ticks per second. Okay. So that's it for setting up the input easy as that i've made a video on this before but i wanted it as a part of the series so people that are new can just know it already without me redirecting you anyways if you thought that was useful leave a like next video we will be going over making it say click but not say click 20 times a second uh, so we're going to be going over different fire rate things we're going to do burst fire and we're going to do slower than 20 ticks per second but for now we have our fastest fire rate uh, weapon which will be 20 ticks per second this fast click 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 20 times a second anyways thanks for watching and i'll see you next time peace